And now, your first alert weather. Dry and warm temperatures once again here heading into your weekend. Now, Saturday, it's going to be hot outside, but it's not going to be scorching hot. Sunday still looking to be the worst day in terms of the heat and the comfort level outside with highs approaching the century mark for the valleys. As we take a live look here across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming, first alert Viper radar showing us fairly dry conditions here locally. Central Wyoming getting a few thunderstorms, getting closer towards places like Laramie and Casper. We had a few thunderstorms earlier this afternoon closer towards Riverton and Cody on the eastern edge of Yellowstone, but we're going to be with some fairly quiet weather in terms of the thunderstorm threats here for tonight and this weekend. Uh, the big headline is still going to be the heat, and we have this building area of high pressure. It was over Texas, and then it's been moving over Arizona and California over the past couple of days, and it's starting to push back towards us as we head through Sunday. And what's going to happen here is the low of the area of high pressure is going to wobble a bit. It's going to head back towards Vegas and St. George. It's going to move a little further to the north and to the northeast. And as a result, we'll see some of that hot air drift in our direction. So tomorrow we'll have highs in the 80s and 90s. It's not going to be again horribly hot outside, but then what happens is this area of high pressure settles in over St. George and Vegas, pushes the jet stream closer towards us and moves it north of us, and that allows for our temperatures to really take off for Sunday and Monday. Then we turn our attention to Monday afternoon. There's an area of low pressure that's trying to work in, and a wave of windy weather coming off that low will settle in here for Monday afternoon, and that's going to drop our temperatures back just a bit for Tuesday and Wednesday. So as Fast as we bring in the heat, the temperatures will come back down for the middle of this approaching work week, and then we're expecting to see more heat building out of the south for next weekend. Uh, the Viper cast showing us, yeah, we have a uh, heat advisory for tomorrow, uh, not for tomorrow, excuse me, for Sunday. Again, this is not for Saturday, it's for Sunday, as when we hit the uh, hottest part of the forecast period, which will be Sunday afternoon with those triple digit numbers. So the heat advisory might be extended into Monday because it's still going to be pretty warm outside with highs in the mid to upper 90s. A check of the Viper cast here is through tonight and over the next couple of days. We'll have clear skies, a few clouds to the east of us, and then we'll build in a couple clouds in here for Sunday. There's a hint of some thunderstorm activity working in from the south, and that's going to happen into Monday and Tuesday, along with the winds guiding in here from the north. So for Sunday, I'm expecting sunny conditions, a few clouds near the continental divide, but that's about it. And just to give you an idea of where we're sitting with that heat, temperatures tomorrow well into the 80s and 90s locally. We should be pushing 100 tomorrow for Boise, and then... <laughs> Don't want to be in Vegas right now. 115, about 118 tomorrow in Phoenix. And the temperatures will continue to climb upward as we head into Sunday. And we're going to be pushing 100 degrees in Idaho Falls. We should be well over 100 for Salt Lake City and Boise. And then we're pushing 115, 116 for Vegas and Phoenix. Yeah, very hot conditions. Check out the numbers tomorrow in Yellowstone National Park. We're into the upper 60s. Uh, we got the mid 70s for Sunday. Should be pretty pleasant for this weekend in Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks with no risk of thunderstorms. Jackson tomorrow, high of 84. Then we're looking at 90 for Sunday, the upper 80s for Monday with some gusty winds and temperatures dropping down to the lower 80s by Tuesday. Rexburg hitting a high of 92 tomorrow with 98 for Sunday. The winds with us to Monday and Tuesday and a couple thunderstorms may try to get in here for the early half of this approaching work week. Then moving over into central Idaho, we have highs in salmon at 93 tomorrow with 98 as we get into Sunday. Gusty conditions crank it up for Monday and Tuesday with temperatures dropping back down to the 80s for Tuesday. Moving over to Blackfoot with highs here at 95 and 101 this weekend. Areas around Blackfoot and uh, moving through Pocatello Fort Hall should be well over 100 degrees for this Sunday and then we'll still look pretty hot for Monday with a high of 97. Pocatello 95 and 102 this weekend with lows into the 60s and then we're looking at 99 for Monday before the winds will crank up and temperatures will drop for Tuesday all the way back into the upper 80s to lower 90s and a similar story here for Idaho Falls with a high of 93 tomorrow and we're looking to hit about 100 for Sunday afternoon mid 90s for Monday then the upper 80s for Tuesday. But look at the end of the eight day forecast towards next weekend. We have another warm up pushing back through where well, we're going to be dealing with highs well into those mid to upper 90s, possibly even hitting a, hundred, a few 100s out there next weekend. So even though we get a bit of a reprieve from the heat on Tuesday, it's going to come right back in. Okay. Can't shake it. That's what you do in July and summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't hit 100 last year in Idaho Falls. No, we did not. Uh, Pocatello, I think we did get close, but we, we, it's been a while since we've seen it. In fact, in Idaho Falls, we have to go all the way back to 2015 
before we hit 100 at the airport. So okay. it's been a long time. Yeah, it has. Okay, Michael, thanks a lot. Coming up.